If you suspect that your LG refrigerator is not working properly or not working at all, you can run diagnostics from the back and that may give you a better idea of what is wrong with it. But first you need to unplug your fridge from the wall and follow the cord to this panel on the back behind which there is a main control board with a test button on it. And the cover has a lightning bolt for a reason, so if you're not comfortable working with electricity, please don't, it can be dangerous. Remove three screws holding the cover and few more screws on the very bottom, so you can look at the compressor during the test mode. With the screws and the cover out of the way, now you can see the main PCB board. Plug your fridge back into the wall outlet and as of right now, the motherboard is energized and electricity is flowing through it. So be very careful and don't touch anything but the test button with one finger. The first time you press on the test button, you may hear single beeps several times, which indicates test number one. During this test, the condenser fan right next to the compressor should be running. And the compressor should be running as well with a slight vibration. Open the fresh food compartment and check for any airflow from the vent. Whether it's cool or warm, during this test you just want to make sure that the evaporator fan actually works. And now check for airflow in the freezer compartment as well. And if you don't feel any air movement during this test, your evaporator fan may be damaged. The fan also may be stuck in ice if your defrost system is not working properly. And to verify that, you will need to disassemble the freezer or the fridge compartment in some models. And now back to the control board. If you press the test button one more time, you may hear several double beeps. That means you are on the second stage of the testing mode. And at this time, the condenser fan and the compressor should continue to run, but only one of the compartments should be getting cold air. But that really depends on your specific model, and it's kind of difficult to generalize here. Pressing on the test button for a third time should deactivate the compressor, and all fans should stop as well. This is stage 3 testing, which is supposed to activate the defrost system. And if you continue this test for the next few minutes, you may hear some crackling and sizzling sounds from the defrost water dripping on the hot defrost element. However, if there is nothing to defrost, this stage of the test mode may be automatically stopped by the defrost sensor because it's already warm. That was the last stage of the test. And to exit the test mode, press on the test button one more time or unplug your fridge from the wall and plug it right back in. Give it a few minutes and your fridge should go back to normal operation. While this test works for most LG refrigerators, some of the side-by-side -side models don't have test number two. And also, when you open one of the doors during the test number one, the fan inside the freezer may stop automatically. So you will need to trick the system as if the door is still closed by activating the door switch. Running this test from the back should reset your fridge and may actually fix some of the little problems. Also, you may notice somewhere on the bottom of the board an LED indicator light flashing error codes. And those error codes may not tell you exactly what's wrong with your fridge, but they should point you in the right troubleshooting direction. Here's a general list of number of blinks and what the problem could possibly be. I know there is a lot of information here, so you can pause the video to look it over. Most of the problems would be with the compressor itself, loose wiring, inverter board or the motherboard. But since LG combined these two boards together, if one of the components go bad, you would have to replace the whole main PCB board. I hope you found this video informative. If so, hit the like button and thanks for watching.